Yeah, and he's actually really, really cool. Yeah, along with like a couple other players. Uh, and, you know, I just kind of talk to them about Ultimate and what they think about Ultimate. And a lot of them, you know, it's not necessarily their game. It's not It's not Melee. Yeah. But they enjoy it. Yeah. And they, they like the game. Yeah. So that's actually, like, allowing the two communities to mesh a lot more than, like, previous iterations. Yeah, like, Smash Bros. was kind of, I understand it was kind of a hard one with the rage mechanic being such a big factor. Mm -hmm. um, but this Ultimate now is kind of, like, a solid balance of what we wanted to see happen in Smash 4. Right. And it's now available in this game. And that's what I try to tell people. Like, if you wish Smash 4 was just a bit more balanced, then you, here you have Ultimate. And the latest balance patch actually just brought a lot of great balancing to a lot of characters. It made some characters that were previously incomplete feel a little bit more complete and a little bit more, uh, a little more scary, especially when it comes to characters like Street Fighter. Well, if you don't know who Ven is, you're about to find out. This guy makes a lot of moves with Zelda, you know, a character who has definitely gotten, received a few d more tools than uh, than Zelda has in, like, previous iterations of the game. Yeah. But at the same time, like, he's making a character that a lot of people would just say, like, mid-tier, look high-tier, or even top. Yeah. This guy makes moves. For sure, one of the characters that was low-tier last game was uh, Zelda, and now with the readings and buffs and how they changed Knight, some of her frame data in general, uh, she's, and, you know, frame three jumps got to a lot of characters has done a tremendous amount of work. Mm -hmm. So Zelda's looking like very, a pretty solid mid tier, and I'm not going to lie, sometimes matchup and experience goes a long way, and Ben definitely uses that to his ability. He's, he was ranked, I believe, number two in uh, Vegas at one point. That's right. As you can see, like, Ben are already putting on a ton of damage onto Is No One. One of our, uh, I believe he's, uh, yeah, one of our own Game & Watch players. Mm -hmm. Oh. Who, I, who am I almost confused for paper for a hot second? You know, I realize <laughs> I don't think paper ever wears polos. Uh, actually, <laughs> I think he does sometimes. <laughs> I've never seen paper wear polos. Okay. I see him with a hoodie, but never seen him wear a polo. But I mean, hopefully, uh, Ben will definitely see how he compares to paper because so far, he's only losing down to two stocks to his three. Well, the one thing about Zelda that I do appreciate that Ben does is he uses his, his use of knight. Uh -huh. I think he calls him uh, Esteban, the name of the knight for the Ben calls him. I'm not sure, but you know oh. what? Oh, Ricardo. Oh, he calls him Ricardo? He calls him Ricardo. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Why Ricardo? I, I, know, I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'll have to I ask know. him later. His use of Knight, though, was really, really good. Like, he uses Knight there so that if this Game & Watch is going to make an approach to the Electric Nudge Guard, he is going to have to go ahead and make sure he does it cautiously with the shield. Not only that, the spacing that he has around Knight, the trick plays as well. Mm. If he goes for a Knight, he understands his opponent is going to jump over it, he makes the call out, things like that. It's really good for him to utilize what his best tool is and then put it to its maximum usage. Yeah, even holding down with there on the recovery because he knows that once Zelda appears back on the screen, it's going to have a pretty big, pretty decent-sized hitbox. Mm -hmm. And I believe it has a lot of power, too. It does. So see, like, Van kind of sets up himself up for the aerial. Because he knows, all right, he's going to go ahead and try to avoid the knight and not hold shield because he doesn't want to get grabbed. And he uses that time from the end leg of the bucket to actually make an approach here. But unfortunately, he had enough time to hold the wow, shield. Wow, the knight just clipping below the ledge? Okay, so no, you can actually just, reflect it. You can I'll, reflect the knight. Okay, that was, that was incredible because I had never seen that at all. Well, so the knight does have projectile uh, properties, apparently. Yeah. That, that's the interesting thing about Smash in general that I always kind of like. It's a bit, a bit of a question to some players, but like the way that aura works in this game, you know, Richter's holy, um, holy water actually works like an aura yeah. as opposed to an actual fire. Uh -huh. And now we know Knight has a little bit of a projectile property, but unfortunately the only property that Ven saw there was this property getting sent to the skies. That's right. Getting seen the bottom of that hammer was not where he wanted to be. And now Ven dropping his first stock, but is no one just having a little bit of difficulty kind of staying on the ledge and now using the ejection button to put a little bit of damage and put the situation in his favor. Yeah, ejecto cedo, man. That, you never want, you always want to respect that because some gamer wants to just pull it out any time in mid-combo. Oh. And unfortunately, you got to be careful when the princess herself flexes like that because you saw how she had her hands up there. Yeah, man. She, she didn't need a knight at that point. Oh, yeah. She doesn't need saving, man. She no. doesn't need saving. She's she not a knight. damsel in distress. No, she's not. She doesn't look like one at all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in this game. All right, well, Smash Roll, I... I don't know if this is going to be is no one's uh, pick, but it is a smaller stage. The, the mono platform, of course, single platform in the middle. It does allow for a little bit of a, the ability to kind of go on the platform and secure yourself more safe, safe but passage. The one thing that I do notice that, like I said, Ven does is like, okay, if you don't want to hold shield, you're going to jump. And if you're mm. going to jump, you're going to go for an aerial. I feel like Ven's going to be able to utilize the, the platform, platform exactly. especially to set up more night traps. But let's see how... Is no one is able to abuse this stage. I mean, this is his counter pick, so we must have something in store. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, nice. Almost got the back air in the middle. We kind of saw it. I don't know what DI is. No one was holding, but if he held the wrong DI, that back air would have connected for sure. Okay, and the Knight's out. But just going to roll right past it. Oh, up smash. Losing like a lot of its invulnerability frames for the previous iteration of Smash 4. Yeah. I mean, I feel like... I kind of feel like Game Watch needed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what's kind of interesting. Like, this character didn't really have anything quite broken. So, like, why I mean, would up you... smash was, was really good. Yeah. So I can understand why they wanted to maybe tone it down, but I just feel like with the amount of tools that Game Watch has, it, you know, it's one more wouldn't hurt. Exactly. So some nerfs just don't really add up. I mean, to some player who's like you, you losing the game and watch every day, that might be your prerogative. But to in, <laughs> in the grand scope of things, it's like, uh, no, man, you kind of needed this. <laughs> okay, well, is no one dropping his first stock? As we saw a very stylish up B kill from Ben, and now the setup option. Oh, but Ben able to escape. That's right. Hit that ejection button once again. Even hacking on a little bit of extra damage with the up air. Yeah. All right, old shield. He's looking. I was gonna say he's gonna look to bucket that because at this point he wants the invincibility. Oh. But not only that, the bucket charge as well, and the down smash on Ben's landing a little too cocky with that one. Yeah, just landing inside Game Watch is not where you want to be, especially when he's swinging those hammers around. All right, Ben's gonna come back on the stage. Puts out the knight. I do like that he puts out the knight because mm -hmm. it does kind of cause his no one to go for a roll. I mean, he can push it with an up tilt. That's true. Because it does scoop you up. But look at the way that, you know, is no one is setting up these edge guards, mm -hmm. setting up traps, using the forward air, dropping the bomb on the ledge, and then it's actually forcing Ben to pick an option because it, that bomb, like, slowly descending to the ledge is like, almost like a timer. Exactly. Like, by the time that bomb reaches the ledge, you're going to have to push a button. That's also one thing I don't understand from Game Watch. Why do they change this forward air to a bomb? I know we're like six months like into the, the game's lifespan. I miss the box. Some people cut it the credit card swipe. Yeah, I was going to say, what is it, a box or a credit card? Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think it was a box. <laughs> like, why did you change it? But he, it doesn't matter for him. He actually changes his game plan here, and he reads the roll, get up, up smash. Still, like you said, missing a little bit of armor there, but it's still going to do the trick when it comes to rolling. Okay, there's a down throw and a big damage with the sweet spot of that forward air. That's kind of the thing about then. When you think that the ships are down, you kind of just turn things up to 11, and then you immediately start going in, and you're like, wait, hold up. You were playing a little defensive a few seconds ago, and now you're making your approaches here. I mean, he's got two aerials that hit extremely hard yeah. and can kill at the ledge, oh, not to mention knight combos. That's my favorite thing about knight that I have to respect to any player who wants to main Zelda. Right. Knight feels like an assist from Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, you know what? You're right. It, you're right. It feels like he's an assist. Definitely, that's definitely Captain America saying, I need backup. <laughs> Why do you call knight Ricardo? Okay. And why?